Most of you guys don't know this. Ever since college, I've struggled tremendously with pre-gaming anxiety. Before every single game, I would get so nervous and scared of playing poorly. No matter what I did, I could never shake free of my pre-game anxiety. And I remember dreading and hating game days because I would get so nervous. Sometimes it was so bad. I couldn't sleep the night before and I couldn't eat the day of the game. So going into my second year in Houston, I had this plan to conquer my anxiety. I planned to have this breakout year so that I wouldn't have to worry about getting benched. So that I wouldn't have to live underneath the shadow of insanity. And I felt like if I could do that, that would get rid of my anxiety. But my plan was immediately in jeopardy and I was overwhelmed with anxiety once I realized I might not start. So I got on my knees and I cried out to God. I said, Lord, please, please help me. I said, I can't go through another miserable season again. And I don't have the strength to get through it, so please help me. And what happened over the next two weeks was incredible. I was reading the Bible one day and I came across a very uh, great verse that spoke to me, so I wrote it down. Within a day or two, my mom read a devotional. She had that same verse, and so she emailed it to me. And then I received a random email from my friend. He felt like he needed to encourage me, so he had sent this email, and in that email, it highlighted the same exact verse. So at this point, I was like, okay, God's trying to get my attention. Then it started to get really spooky. I was surfing the web and randomly there came up a picture and on that picture was a verse written in it. My friend who I had not spoken to in about a year, he had just randomly sent me a text message. He said, I know we haven't talked in a while, but I just felt like I should share this verse with you. Then I was cleaning out my, my apartment and I found a necklace. And on that necklace was this same exact verse written on the necklace. And I promise everything I'm saying is true. So after all these things happened within a two week span, I knew God was talking to me. There are 31,103 verses in the Bible. What are the chances that this one verse pops up six times over the course of two weeks? This verse was Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I had begged God to give me the strength to deal with me losing my starting position. To deal with my pregame anxiety. And he answered that prayer through Joshua 1.9. He told me over and over not to be afraid. To have courage and to trust in him every single step of the way. See, the thing is, he didn't answer my prayer by giving me my starting spot. He gave it to me through scripture. So right before our first game of the season, when they told me that I had lost my starting position, I still had tremendous peace. I had meditated on and repeated Joshua 1.9 to myself. Oh. And I knew that God was going to be with me wherever I went, even to the bench. And you know what the best part about coming off the bench was? That pregame anxiety that I struggled with for the last six years finally went away. 
God taught me he may not always rescue me when I want to get out of a certain situation. But he is always with me as I walk through that situation.